Hello, sweet baby angels and pumpkin heads. It is your girl, Miss Tetra Resin Stone. And you guys, today we're talking about Nikita Dragon. Are you taking a breath? I know my foot is on everyone's neck right now. My big old stripper heel, my pleaser is on everyone's neck right now. Are you taking a breath? I know my foot is on everyone's neck right now. Are you taking a breath? I know my foot is on everyone's neck right now. Today, the chant on the streets of Chicago was like thousands heard last night in New York I can't breathe. at a protest in Minneapolis I can't breathe. and at a die-in on the campus of Clemson University. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The last words of 43-year-old Eric Garner have become a rallying cry for thousands across the country. Are you taking a breath? I know my foot is on everyone's neck right now, my big old stripper heel. My pleaser is on everyone's head. There is still anger over the deaths of Atatiana Jefferson. She's from Fort Worth. There is still anger over the death of Botham Jean from Dallas. At moments, they paused to kneel right in front of Sundance Square. Those same three words. And then an image that needs no words. They are hurting. Also, a show of solidarity. Those not here for protest, but sitting for dinner stood. Now, of course, this did bring Miss Nikita some backlash, although her stands were quick to defend her. I honestly think this is a little blown out of proportion. I could see how this is a little too much of a coincidence in her choice of verbiage, but I mean, social media personalities are constantly broadcasting their lives and having to come up with intros and good morning posts. A user responds to that and says, don't defend it. She knew what the fuck's going on. Of course, Miss Resinstone had to come on in, right? Like, that's not even a saying that makes sense. Just stop. She knew what the fuck she did. And in case you did want to give Nikita the benefit of the doubt, Nikita herself went to a George Floyd protest. And I can guarantee you at that protest, she did hear the chanting, I can't breathe. There is no shortage when it comes to controversy surrounding Nikita Dragon. She's actually been accused of a lot of cultural appropriation. Some have accused her of black fishing. Now listen, I can only listen to the black content creators who talk about this. If they're offended, then I'm offended. You know what I mean? So it's like, who am I to tell them what we should or shouldn't find offensive when it doesn't pertain to us? And a lot of the black community do find her aesthetic and her choice of words to be very problematic. It does come off as well that she is trying to essentially exploit black culture and, and now she's exploiting black pain um, for her views and clout. Because here's the thing guys, engagement is engagement. Whether you send someone a mean comment or you send them a loving comment, Either way, it's engagement. So it does their channel good no matter what. And the fact that we're all talking about this problematic behavior is only driving more um, traffic to her platforms. And she does this on purpose. Do not for a second think that she is innocent and that she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. She does. It's very sad. They all went to the, the YouTube beauty guru school of scandals at Jeffree Star Academy. Let's be real. Jeffree Star is no stranger. He does the same dance thing and all of his people and all the people in these communities this is what they do and you know i i asked myself i said you know what tetra how can we change this behavior how can we call you know it's one thing we call attention and i think it's very important that we use our voices to call attention to this but how can we change this behavior how can we get these people these tone deaf, out of touch people to see and curve their behavior. And it's clear that they're not gonna listen to the black community. They're not gonna listen to the content creators who are offended. It's very clear that that's not gonna work. So what could we do? The only thing that I've come up with is just not engaging in it. Not, if you go and send a negative comment, if you go and send a positive comment, if you go and send any kind of comments, that's engagement that's only sending traffic to their channels, traffic to their platform. And that's really gonna, what it's gonna be is to just, a pretend they're not there. Look at Onision. Onision is a great example. People don't go to his channel. People don't go to his views. But when all of these Onision videos were coming out, 
and everybody wanted to talk about Onision, his channel did do better because everyone was now flooded to go see what the fuck was going on over at Onision's channel. So when negativity does come out about a particular content creator, it doesn't always necessarily mean that they're going to be hurt. Yes, emotionally, maybe their feelings will get hurt. Yes, it sucks to be bullied and they may not, you know, it may not feel good. But in terms of the analytics, in terms of numbers, it only does them good, whether it's positive or negative. Attention is attention and engagement is engagement. So I think that's something that if you really want to show these creators who were doing these problematic things that we're not here for it, that we don't stand for that, then just stop engaging in their behavior. I only know who, this is the first Nikita Dragon video I've ever made. I only know Nikita from Scandals and, and seeing her in other commentary and other drama channel videos. I I don't know her beyond that. All I can say is I know from what I've seen, it's very interesting and it's very suspect. I also want to point out, I think it's interesting too, that a lot of people, and this goes beyond the Nikita Dragon situation. When you look at Twitter, specifically Twitter, anytime you see, um, you know, someone of color, whether they're Latino, whether they're brown, whether they're, you know, black, whatever they are, if their person of color is posting something that is offensive to them, you always find those people who are, um, you know, Caucasian who have to say, well, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I just know if someone told me that I offended them and it was from a place of ignorance that I didn't realize what I said was wrong or what I was thinking was wrong, I would be open to learning why I offended them or what I said was wrong. I would want to curve my behavior and learn from that. So I don't do that again. Um, now, not everyone's like me and I understand that and I do get that, but it's just crazy to me that people have no compassion for one another. It's very, very sad. I think the worst thing for a person is to not be heard, not seen. That's the worst thing you can do to somebody. And to com willful ignorance is just, it's not an excuse. It's really not an excuse. There's too many people who have voices and platforms to tell you and to educate you. There's so many tools out there for you to be educated that you just simply don't care. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts and opinions on this particular case. Do you think Nikita Dragon did honestly make a mistake? Or do you think that she knew what the fuck she was doing? Um, let me know, join the conversation. I'm always excited to see what you have to say. Please be sure to hit that like, you guys. Make sure you hit your subscribe and uh, turn that little bell on. I wanna say thank you guys so much who have subscribed so far to the channel. I really do appreciate it. I see you, I see you. I love it, I love it, I love it. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. As always, bye-bye.